you couldn't tell me shit, I had a head bigger than the state of Texas. Leave me in the dark with all for art. As low as I can get, burn the bridge with the stench out. Leave me in the dark. What up, boys and girls? We out here just cruising today. Not really any plan. Got my boy Wes out here with me today. Wes is a little banged up. He took a good spill yesterday, but he's still out here. That should be good. I just put gas in it the other day. I guess that's a good a good segue into the point of for today's video. I'm gonna be talking about the learning curve and like plateaus and real big peaks of learning. So jump off of last video, a lot of people buy a drum or a stunt bike and they'll head out like two or three times and then they realize it's not as easy as what it looks like and they normally kind of fall off. And that's because when you first start out, it's really hard and you spend a lot of time just gradually getting better usually. And this is usual, you know, like you have your case by case studies where like you know, dudes will jump in in a month, they're fucking killing it. But, uh, real talk, usually you get in and it takes a long time to hold a decent wheelie, like, to learn that. And then, you'll hit another point where it seems like you're learning a new trick every day. And you get this, like, huge wave of confidence. You're just getting good. You, you start to come into your own way of, uh, like, okay, like, I'm... I got this. And then slowly but surely that starts to taper off into what we call a plateau where you know instead of every time you go to a lot learning something new, it's more like every ten times you go to a lot you learn something new. Or you might nail something a little bit cleaner than normal. Until you get to a point where you're just so good that you're like, I wanna try this and you go out and do it. There's not many riders that are like that. I mean in all of Sunrise right, there's a handful that can that have reached that level. And I'm here to tell you from personal experience that that plateau, it can feel depressing. It can like lower your self-confidence in your ride. And I'm like, I'm a perfect example of that. A couple years ago when I was getting decent at like circle wheelies and stuff on my mini, you couldn't tell me shit. I had a head bigger than the state of Texas. And now, you know, I've moved up to the bigger bikes and I'm kind of, I've, I've been sitting in a plateau for a long time. I haven't learned anything new in a while. I got really depressed about my riding to the point like I wouldn't even take, you know, compliments on anything. But I'm here to tell you, it does get better. Yeah, you don't learn a new trick every time you ride, but you get to a point where you just, you realize it and it becomes fun again. When you're first learning, bad crashes back to back to back within a couple months really knocked my confidence level down and it's taken this long for me to get back up to a point where i feel like i'm i'm proficient on a bike again like i'm willing i'm willing to take some chances but it stays in the back of your mind if you let it my biggest mistake was i didn't just immediately go back out and ride like the next day i was scared of it for a long time i didn't even ride my jixer and I, uh, I still to this day will not ride if it's super super wet out just because 
was the other bag crashed my foot uh, slipped off my foot brake in a drop back don't be discouraged by the plateau don't get overly cocky because you're in your like come up phase you're, everybody goes through all the steps don't get stuck in your head about where you're at whether it's for the better or for the worse it's so easy to say yeah just go out there and have fun but I don't think there's people really iterate enough on like the, the bigger point of that like when we, when you say go out and have fun it's yeah go out and have fun don't worry so much about getting that next trick that you're out there in the lot you're frustrating yourself to the point that you don't even want to ride anymore yeah go, yeah go out and the first like after your warm-up the first 15 minutes to an hour however much endurance you have yeah go for it but after you feel yourself start getting tired man just start having fun don't have don't don't worry about the new tricks don't worry about this or that you're just ride you just ride and everything else will just come so just go out there and have fun don't get caught up in your head and i really think like that really needs to be pressed because it seems like everybody's worried about like the next trick and the next this and the next that yeah that's important don't get me wrong it is very important to like have a goal in mind when you're riding don't let that goal blur the image of why you got into this that's because it's fun and it's cool that's the thing that talk, took me the longest time to figure out once i hit my plateau is you gotta just be kind to yourself when you're out riding you know yeah you might not be the sickest guy in the lot you might be the absolute worst dude in the lot you know you might be the squiddiest squid out that day but i guarantee you there's people worse and i guarantee you there's people better and my idol is way too high that was the hardest part of it for me once i started hitting my plateau especially on this bike because i built this bike from stock from the ground up exactly how i wanted it to be and i still you know i was just like in my head i was like oh you used to ride a jigsaw you know you should be able to get on fy and just start shred and that's not the case Wesley's gonna fucking die. You no, know, it wasn't the case. You know, there's some aspects about this FRI I don't like as much as my Jigsaw. Like the fact that the Jigsaw just circles, man. This this thing here, I'm still fighting it. You had to hit one good circle on this bitch. But every other way, I love this bike. This bike is amazing in the street. <laughs> I don't miss that about the minis. Let's go.
doubt that ever change For my ambition, 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 ambition. Easy to dream a dream, though what's harder to live They gon' love me for my ambition, 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 ambition. Easy to dream a dream, though what's harder to live They gon' love me for my ambition Dream a dream, but what's harder to live? Huh. Yeah. They gon' love me for my ambition. 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 Huh. Beautiful music, paint a picture, they be my vision. Opposition. You niggas probably cop a plea before you cop a pistol I got nothing against them, they got fucking potential But every nigga who can read gotta get this issue Subscribe niggas reside where all the lines and killers be And I ain't spend a minute up in the streets But I'm limitless mentally, I'm lyrically ZMT LeBron shit, I was in the 6 after 23 And family gets everything, and money is less important Long as your mama love ya, don't ever love a woman I got a lot of bitches, they got a lot of but I got that green on my eyes and that ain't no Donnie Simpson I retire you niggas, fuck you in your position They play so that some slippery niggas can't even kick it Got rambling, and talking shit to these bitches You know you real, you don't say it, you know you real, we gon' feel it Bro. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video Catch you in the next one, peace